During the days of the American Revolution, that is, uh, from the middle, say, of the 18th century, all the way up into the 20th century, the main transportation for military, just as it was the main transportation for everything else, was horses and mules. And so any sort of army or any sort of a guerrilla outfit had to have plenty of horses. The horses had to be strong because very often uh, men two at a time got aboard the horse so that they could make their movements quicker than just walking and hiking as infantry would have to do. This, this was particularly true with uh, Francis Marion and the way he fought in his guerrilla tactics throughout the PD. It was important then for him to not only have a horse, but a sturdy one. In the case of Francis Marion, he found exactly what he wanted. He captured it in a struggle down at Black Mingo Creek, which is, down, which is in Williamsburg County. The horse was owned by a man named John Cumming Ball from the famous Ball family near Charleston, very wealthy. Ball was a Tory that is loyal to the king. So he and Francis Marion became enemies. And one dark night at Black Mingo, Francis Marion and his men surprised Ball and his men. And when John Cumming Ball fled, his horse was left behind. Francis Marion captured the horse, took it for himself, rode it the rest of the war, and named it Ball. Hence Francis Marion, riding the horse Ball, the swamp fox himself.